Hey everybody, Bosco Piper UK, 26th of July, uh, 2016. Um, and we are about to have a cigar. The cigar we're having today is a Perdomo Maduro 20th anniversary. Um, I've been wanting to smoke this for quite some time. It's been in my humidor for a good while. It smells delicious. It's got a really um, cedar, cocoa, chocolatey kind of aroma on the wrapper and a little bit more earth and leather on the foot. Um, nice construction, it's got a really nice cocoa coloured leaf uh, wrapper. Um, pretty seamless. And the cap looks like a double cap, it's quite a big cap. So I'm just going to read you what um, it says on JR Cigars. So it says, Perdomo Cigars are celebrating their 20th anniversary and you're all invited to the party. Perdomo is renowned not only for their cigar, make cigar making but also for the exceptional premium tobaccos grown in their state in their state-of-the-art factory with demanding standards that assures excellence with every single cigar that's rolled. In your choice of two Cuban seed bourbon barrel fermented wrapper styles, a dark lush Maduro, which this is, um, that imparts a, re a rich espresso flavor, which I can absolutely uh, support because you can smell that already, or a sanguine version with a zesty cedar hint. These celebratory puros are built with the finest aged leaves from the Perdomo family farms. They're elegant and complex while remaining silky smooth until the last puff and a great choice to make your cigar break as much of a celebration as the Perdomo family's anniversary. So this is officially a medium to full, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me just click on the one this is. This is a 6x56. It's called the, Medu the Perdomo 20th Anniversary Maduro Epicure. So in terms of strength, this is considered to be full. Okay, I may well have to do this in a couple of goes. Um, I don't want to get knocked sideways. Um, I've been putting it off because it's a full strength, probably. Um, so I'm going to be a bit brave, seeing as I've already decapitated it. Okay, we're just going to sort out the cap. Sorry, excuse my obscuring of the lens. Hi, okay, so we're about a few minutes in, maybe four or five minutes, and I can already tell you the flavours on this are fantastic. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to see how this develops, this cigar. It really starts off as it promises, um, with a very nice, rich um, espresso kind of flavour. So you've got a, a bit of a mixture of creamy coffee, um, chocolate, cocoa, all of the really nice Maduro kind of aromas and flavours. Um, the draw is wide open, loads of smoke, um, really so far, I mean I obviously only just started it but this promises to be an exceptional cigar. So we'll see how we go. Hey, um, a good half an hour in, I'm having some uh, burn issues, I don't know if that's construction or what, but it keeps go going out and I've had to fix it a couple of times, it started tunnelling at one point. So uh, besides for that, but flavour wise, it's already pretty full. Um, on the flavour, it's quite peppery. Still got that um, um, sort of espresso profile, but not as much. It's it's become a richer. It's not bad in any way. It's just richer. Definitely still got that flavour profile, but it's just more peppery, more punchy, and it's quite quickly become a good solid medium, and it's on its way already to becoming more than medium onto full. Um, I do already feel a little bit of a feeling in the pit of my stomach, which was the, is the beginning of my uh, usual reaction to nicotine once it starts to get a bit heavy, so I'm really taking it slow, um, so as not to get knocked out with it. It's really nice. Um, even getting a bit light-headed, so I'm going to take it easy. Um, I'll see how I go. I'll carry on for the moment. Uh, I might stop in middle and carry on tomorrow. We'll see. Hey everybody. Um, I had a little break and I've carried on. 
um, and um, it's okay for the moment. Um, the flavor profile, remarkably, is still pretty much the same. Um, it's still got that uh, espresso kind of flavor, coffee and chocolate and cream. Um, definitely a lot more peppery now. I'm around um, just over halfway. Um, well, it's even more than that. It's probably approaching the last third. Um, very peppery. It's quite. It's catching on the back of my throat. Um, and it's pretty strong. The the flavor is full. Um, strength. Um, I don't smoke full cigars, so not not really very often at all. So I can't really say whether it's full or not in the strength. But it is um, pretty strong. But um, it, it's interesting that you you have the fullness of uh, flavor still, even this sort of this far down the cigar, which is very very impressive. Um, if I was a full strength kind of cigar fan this would be really up there amongst the favorites um that's really all that is the downside for me otherwise it'd be, because it's full otherwise um, this would be you know for me it would be exceptional um it's just a little bit too strong for me but um very enjoyable nonetheless hey everybody 27th of july 2016 i'm continuing this cigar it's wednesday afternoon <clears throat> bit of a frog in my throat partly due to the cigar i have to say So carrying on from yesterday, um, it's pretty much unchanged. It's pretty punchy. It's got a bit of pepper which is catching on the back of my throat. It's still got that same creamy kind of espresso, bit of coffee, bit of chocolate and cream. Very tasty. And pretty strong. It's got a bit of also like a um, like a biscuity kind of flavor as well. Very, very nice. Really, I wouldn't expect to get all these flavors through this far down the cigar. Coming up to the final bit of the cigar and um, still got all those flavors. Many cigars, um, when you get to this stage, they'll still be very enjoyable, very delicious. And some of the uh, cigars that I've reviewed recently have been like that, where they've been very addictive and very Moorish, but that's because of the rich, sort of really nice, rich tobacco. You just want to take in more. This one, um, it hasn't got any of the harshness, it hasn't got into that really strong tobacco flavour, it's still maintaining all of the original flavours which came um, at the beginning of the cigar. Perhaps not as smooth, but um, definitely all there. It's still got that typical Maduro kind of um, flavour profile, just um, it's accompanied by punchiness. Uh, definitely catching on the back of my throat, the pepper, um, and definitely... Um, pretty full on in terms of strength and um, that's why I've split it over two days and I'm taking it easy I've had a sandwich just now to make sure I've got some food in me um, and um, it's a bit early it's, it's four o'clock in the afternoon um, I generally tend to have them in the evening but um, it was sitting there looking at me and saying smoke me so we have done so um, so that's where we're at hey coming to the end um, it started to really come through with a really sweet um, Kind of flavor i'm not sure what it is but it's like a real sweet burnt sugar kind of flavor like a candy floss i don't know if anybody else has that experience but um very interesting flavor still got all those flavors still got that uh, mocha chocolatey creamy kind of flavor um, along with the strength and the pepperiness it's, it's a really great blend of flavors you can pick out each of the flavors in, in your palate it's very very good yep very very nice uh, exceptionally good cigar what's interesting is is that um, the wrapper on this to me feels pretty thick um, the inside the filler when you light it each time you can see it's quite, uh, they look like they're quite thin leaf, um, cigar leaf in there, and it uh, really burns up really nicely. But the the wrapper feels really solid and holds everything together really, really, really well. Um, when you hold it, you really feel like you're holding a, a, a top notch cigar. It feels like a, um, I don't know if that, if that makes any sense, but the construction, it makes it, it kind of unifies it to be this really solid kind of feeling cigar. Sometimes when you're 
sort of most of the way through a cigar it feels really soft and floppy and you know you're, you're you know it's heated right through and everything's softened up and that's fine but on this particular one you just feel that that wrapper is is a really high quality leaf and it holds everything together in, in a very solid kind of way you wouldn't expect this to unravel as you smoke it down okay so um finishing off now just to summarize um started off really smooth and creamy really nice coffee chocolatey creamy buttery kind of flavor to start with that evened off after a bit still kept the same profile the middle section of the cigar was pretty much the same um just a little less smooth perhaps and a little bit more business-like more um tobacco uh, together with those same flavors the same cocoa chocolate creamy coffee kind of profile um but more um as i say more of a tobacco -y flavor going with that and on the final third definitely an addition of pepper um, definitely felt a little bit of a bite on the back of my throat still kept the same pro uh, profile and towards the end i detected a bit of sweetness coming through as i said like a candy floss burnt sugar kind of flavor really nice and um, that could have been just the um the, uh, the the cigar getting a little bit harsher together with the overall profile and it, it kind of tasted that way i don't think it was actual sweetness it was more just the way the flavors were going it, it gave that kind of uh, taste to it um if i would summarize this uh, cigar give it an overall i would say it's a fantastic cigar but um in a in a in a continuous consistent um slow evolutionary kind of way in other words you don't get like some other cigars um, for instance, recently I had the H. Upman Yaguera, which um, was also a fantastic cigar, had great flavours, but towards the end it just, it kind of really punched and it really got all the flavours really in a much more f um, concentrated kind of way. Whereas this was a slow, continuous, superb cigar from beginning to end. You didn't really have these huge peaks and troughs in the flavour, it was consistent from beginning to end with slight changes that I've just mentioned. Um, as opposed to other cigars which are kind of one-dimensional. The Aguera was very nice, but I would say the first half of the cigar was fairly, I would say boring, but it was nice flavours, but, you know, nothing, it wasn't memorable. The second half was superbly memorable in the Aguera. This one is memorable throughout. Um, so probably the beginning of the cigar spoils you um, in that um, it's so good at the beginning and keeps that all the way through. So perhaps as you're going through the cigar, you might think that um, it's kind of, nothing happening but that's a mistake it's just great throughout the cigar um, it definitely intensifies towards the end but you don't see this huge punch this huge increase of, of flavors and intensity it's just a steady slow increase from beginning to end um, and it's kind of testament to the quality of the cigar from the off um, so um, for me a fantastic cigar I've ordered a few more of these not many because it is strong and I'm not a, a, a I don't go for many full strength cigars um, but this one was manageable, um, especially that as I did it over two days and I took it pretty slow. Um, so, big thumbs up on this one. Very, very good cigar. Highly recommended. Catch you on the next one. Yeah, it's gone out again. Um, I have to say, it does go out quite a lot. You do have to keep relighting it. Um, I'm just going to light it and see if you can see what I mean about how it, the fine leaf inside really burns out very nicely. The inside leaf really ignites immediately. The outside leaf is really more robust. And it's more robust than any cigar, but in this particular one, it really sort of stands out as being a, a really excellent cigar leaf to use for, for a wrapper. And it holds the construction together very, very nicely. Okay, so um, finishing off now, just to summarize. Um, started off really smooth and creamy, really nice coffee, chocolatey creamy buttery kind of flavor to start with that evened off after a bit still kept the same profile the middle section of the cigar was pretty much the same um just a little less smooth perhaps and a little bit more business-like more um tobacco uh, together with those same flavors the same cocoa chocolate creamy coffee kind of profile um but more um as i say more of a tobacco -y flavor going with that and on the final third, definitely an addition of pepper. Um, definitely felt a little bit of a bite on the back of my throat. Still kept the same pro uh, profile. 
and towards the end I detected a bit of sweetness coming through as I said like a candy floss burnt sugar kind of flavor really nice and that could have been just the um, the, uh, the the cigar getting a little bit harsher together with the overall profile and it, it kind of tasted that way I don't think it was actual sweetness it was more just the way the flavors were going it, it gave it that kind of uh, taste to it um, if I would summarize this uh, cigar give it an overall I would say it's a fantastic cigar but um, in, a, in, a, in a continuous, consistent, um, slow, evolutionary kind of way. In other words, you don't get like some other cigars. Um, for instance, recently I had the H. Upman Yaguera, which um, was also a fantastic cigar, had great flavors, but towards the end, it just, it kind of really punched and it really got all the flavors really in a much more f um, concentrated kind of way. Whereas this was a slow, continuous, superb cigar from beginning to end. You didn't really have these huge peaks and troughs in the flavor. It was consistent from beginning to end with slight changes that I've just mentioned. Um, as opposed to other cigars which are kind of one-dimensional. The Aguera was very nice, but I would say the first half of the cigar was fairly, I would say boring, but it was nice flavors, but you know, nothing, it wasn't memorable. The second half was superbly memorable in the Yaguera. This one is memorable throughout. Um, so probably the beginning of the cigar spoils you um, in that um, it's so good at the beginning and keeps that all the way through. So perhaps as you're going through the cigar, you might think that um, it's kind of nothing happening, but that's a mistake. It's just great throughout the cigar. Um, it definitely intensifies towards the end, but you don't see this huge punch, this huge increase of, of flavors and intensity it's just a steady slow increase from beginning to end um, and it's kind of testament to the quality of the cigar from the off um, so um, for me a fantastic cigar I've ordered a few more of these not many because it is strong and I'm not a, a, a I don't go for many full strength cigars um, but this one was manageable um, especially that as I did it over two days and I took it pretty slow um, so Big thumbs up on this one. Very, very good cigar. Highly recommended. Catch you on the next one.